When working on some user interface, you should first think on which devices you will be displaying the game or the application, because the UI will probably look different on mobile, PC and television, right? So it might almost seem impossible to create the perfect UI which will look good on all screens. And today I will show you how to do just that. So first part of the solution is that you can select the canvas, go to the canvas scaler in inspector and the UI scale mode we want to set it to scale with screen size. I think I don't need to explain that. We can set the resolution on which it looks the best right now which for me is full HD and we can tell it if we want to match the width or height. I would recommend you to set it to something like 0.85 and you will later see why we are doing that. So now when I'm scaling the screen you can see that the UI elements are trying to match the size because if I have it just on constant pixel size I make the window bigger you can see that the UI is still at the same size but when I set it to scale with screen size and my, I make the game window bigger yes it is also scaling with the screen size and the second part of the solution are anchors so when you select some of the UI elements we can start with the health bar and right here in direct transform we can click this image and we can see some anchor presets this might look a bit complicated for you, but it really isn't. Here we can select if we want to stick this rect transform, for example, to the left top, to the top, to the right top, and so on. There's just the options where you want to stick this UI element, or you can also stretch it, which you'll be using later. So with the health bar, we can just easily select this left top corner, so it will try to stick to the left top corner and you can also see that the anchors appeared here which are telling us where it will try to stick. Now when we go to the game and I try to scale it you can see that the health bar is always staying in the top left corner. We are still having some issues with the background so the easiest way we could do it is set it back to the middle and just put the health background and the health bar under a parent which will be stick to the top left corner. So I have both the background and the bar under the health parent and I can suggest the parent to stick to the top left corner when I go to the game. Yep, it is still staying in the same position. And we could do the exact same thing with the score which I already have under a parent. So instead of sticking it to the left I will stick it to the top right corner, just like that. Yep, now we have half of the UI done. Now we will get to the pause screen, which we will also need to stretch. And with the pause menu, we pretty much have almost everything done, because this panel is already scaling, because the default mode in the anchor presets is in the middle, so it is already trying to stay in the middle, and only thing that we will need to change is this background. So I will select the whole pause menu object and set the mode to the stretch, as I said. So it will be trying to stretch all of its children objects. And I will just select the background object, which is this one. And on it, I will hold Alt and select this stretch stretch option. While holding Alt, it will make sure that it is filling this entire space. So I will select this one. The mode is automatically set to the stretch stretch and you can see that it is still not filling the entire screen which is because the parent is also not filling the entire screen as you can see. So here we can also hold out, select this one and now it is trying to fill the entire screen. When we go to the game we can scale it up as we want and all the time the background is filling the entire screen. And you can also create your custom anchors. So I can, for example, select the score. And if I want it to have the same relative size all the time, I can just select the anchor, which is right here, because I have set it to top right. So we can see the anchor here. And I can just move it 
wherever I want. And if I move it like this, all the time, the score will be 6% of the screen width and 5% of the screen height. So when I go back to the game, you can see that it is not working as well as it was working with the top right corner, but this could also be used sometime that you want it to fill some percent of the screen. So I will just set it back to top right and everything is working well again. Now I will get quickly back to the canvas. So while we were setting the match to 0.85, if I would set it to only width, you can see it for mobile, <laughs> it would look something like this, which doesn't look the best. For PC it works. So if we want to have it for mobile and for PC, I would suggest you something about 0.85. Now for PC it is working well. And when I make it smaller for the mobile, which will look like this, you can also see that we are able to see the pause menu, the health and everything correctly. When I make the window bigger, it is obviously still working. So this is how we can make sure that your UI looks perfectly on all devices. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you. So feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome.